Good morning. I'm Hoyt Tidwell. We're in Hoyt's kitchen, and I'm going to show you how to make crock pot turkey and dressing. We'll move, move over here and start the process. First of all, it calls for uh, two cups of chicken broth. So we'll uh, put two cups in the crock pot. You got to have a large crock pot. And uh, since we're videoing here and making this, I've uh, chopped the onions up, celery, and cooked them. I put a stick of butter in there, so it takes a stick of butter, a cup of onions, and a cup of celery. If you were going to do this in your crock pot, you'd just, I mean, totally in your crock pot, you would uh, cut your onions along with your broth and celery and let them cook on high for 45 minutes. So, uh, Keep that in mind, but if you want to get in a hurry, you can cook it on the stove. So then uh, we've got that. It takes uh, two eggs. Two eggs, we'll uh, put them in a little blender. <coughs> Blend our eggs up. Add them to the ingredients. Then it calls for one half tablespoon of black pepper. We'll put the black pepper, and it calls for one teaspoon full of salt. Add that, and then it calls for one tablespoon full of sage, but I always like a little extra sage, so I'm putting two <coughs> tablespoons full of sage. Call for one cup of cream of chicken. Uh, and one, <coughs> one can of uh, cream of mushroom. So you add that. Can. To make this come out easy, I poked a hole in the bottom with my uh, ice pick and it, uh, it comes out a lot easier. Then we're ready to add uh, the cornbread. <coughs> you make your pound of cornbread. I've made a couple of pounds uh, in advance, so this is a pound of cornbread. I've got it. My wife, my lovely wife, has chopped this up, and this is ready to go in the in the dressing. So we uh, we're gonna add this to our broth and soup and and ingredients. <coughs> Stirring it up good, and uh, you may have to add uh, more broth to uh, to get the right consistency. We we won't know until uh, until we get the chicken in. So uh, we're gonna add the chicken here. Uh, I'm sorry, this is turkey. Uh, this is the first time I made turkey in a while, so uh, I was a little confused. Uh, I cooked the turkey last night. My wife picked this turkey off. You can see the turkey there. It's nice and brown. And she's uh, picked the four cups of turkey off to, to go in the uh, in the dressing. So uh, this is uh, a good maybe four and a half to five cups. So we're going to add it to our, our dressing. And... Uh, Yeah. 
And people, uh, well, I made this last week, and uh, my son, a uh, couple of folks said, whoa, man, you had you had too much meat in there. Well, I don't know whether you get too much or not, but I'm uh, making this today for for this video. Also, a lot of people are going to be eating this. Uh, uh, we're going to take it to the senior citizens in uh, St. Joe, Tennessee. And a lot of people will be enjoying this dressing. And here it is right before Thanksgiving, a week before, a uh, week and a day. And maybe, I hope, uh, hope you folks can learn how to do this from this video and maybe make it for your Thanksgiving dinner. You mix this up and it looks like it's going to be, it looks like it's going to be pretty good. Uh, you know, time that egg cooks and you leave this in here for uh, three to four hours on a medium heat and uh, you'll have some good dressing. So I hope all of you enjoy that and uh, learn how to make it and you can walk off and leave it and uh, come back in three to four hours and you'll be be ready to eat. Thank you. Why did you choose to put it in the crock pot? Well, uh, you got the kitchen, uh, you got so much to do in the kitchen at Thanksgiving, you know, the oven, you just got one oven, and uh, it's a lot easier to put in the crock pot, and then you won't have to worry about baking it in the oven. So uh, I've been doing this for several years now, and I choose this over pan dressing, and it's wonderful. Thank you.